Hey everybody, I'm Christy Glass here in New York City and I'm about to take you to an art gallery featuring art from Channing Hansen. I recently did an interview with him on my YouTube channel which I will link to underneath this video. But when I heard he was going to be in New York showing his work, I thought I want to take you to see that. So let's go see it. Before we go in, I just want to let you know that there's a lot of background noise because the girls who are working were packing up some art. So I'm going to do my best to have Channing tell you about the art himself, but I'm probably going to include a little bit of my own voiceover to tell you about what you're looking at as I'm editing this video together. This exhibit is called Eye Algorithm, and Channing took patterns from all of his past shows and fed it into artificial intelligence and the artificial intelligence told him what to knit. Here you can see the index that he used. So all of these different elements will appear in the work. Here you will see, as I show you the close-ups of his work, that he hand spins his own yarn. So you can see all of the beautiful details he includes in the spinning, including some sparkle, different fibers. And when he is done with his pieces, he mounts them on these wood frames so that they're stretched and beautiful. What's happening here? You're floating it. Normally when you do You're it. holding the yarn in the front. Yeah, it's in the front. Channing seeks out farms with these really specific sheep. And he even prides himself on spinning from sheep that are great grandchildren of sheep he has spun before. This is probably the most complicated pattern mm -hmm. I have, mm -hmm. um, but it, and it's something like that is not easy. Mm -hmm. Oh no! With you know having seven or eight different needles yes. hanging off of the same piece, oh, having yes. to switch one, and each one is going in different directions. Yes. You know, yeah. That. You're not taking this on the subway, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> I'm not knitting. <laughs> um, but, wow. you know, I've invented some of the stitches yeah. myself. Yeah. You know, there's some. Um, I love what's happening here. It's just they're all coming together. Well, um, this actually ended right about here, and then I knitted here, mm -hmm. and then picked up the stitches, mm. and then decreased, kind of like the baby surprise jacket kind of yes. decreased to get the corner there. Yeah. On this piece is... This piece is really kind of complicated. Um, AI doesn't know what a square is. Mm -hmm. And so this piece, it decided the square had six corners. Oh. And, but I had to work on how to get it taut without it just falling down. Yeah. And yeah, you can see the, the stitches that were picked up here. So actually this piece, the, if you want to get technical, yes, the cast on row is, uh, um, the cast on is from here uh, to, here. Oh, okay. This is the cast on row. Okay. With a decrease here, and then it was picked up here and goes on. And then, you know, th this was knit down. You know, it was, yeah. you know, it's just like, ah. <laughs> well, you did. Oh, and look, here's some needle felting. Yes. I haven't yeah. seen that yet today. Yeah. Do you have one that? was the most enjoyable to create? Oh, that's different. <laughs> right? This one would be great. Yeah. This is one of my favorites, but it was also my least favorite to create. Mm, I see. Just because it had 17 needles on yes. at the same time. Yeah. I'm loving this guy. I'm loving this raw, this brown. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the yarn. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is so sheepy. Yeah, that was, it's, it was a, uh, a ram, it's ram's wool, it's not ram's wool, 
and Rams will be coarser yeah. than use. Let's see. Yeah, I think of this as like an eyeball. Do you like when people see things in your work and say, I see an eyeball? Um, people will find anything in chaos. <laughs> um, if I see like an eyeball or a face, yeah. I will rotate it until you <gasps> can't see it. Because, really? Yeah, I don't want that to be the first thing they see. But it's okay to interpret the art in that way, yeah, in that way right? Yeah. Like this, I think of a little pocket. Like I can put a treasure in my pocket. And that's, I, that's okay, right? The works are completely open for interpretation. Yeah. Uh, much like uh, quantum mechanics and, you know, I think that the one is in superposition. Mm -hmm. And it's the viewer that decides mm. what they are. And mm -hmm. in that case, all interpretations are valid. Thank you. This, um, because it's stretched, it almost looks like, like a cross-stitch canvas or something. Like I could add more to it. I don't know, it's very structural to me there, like... I was just following the instructions that the computer gave me. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, uh, this is a right side to curl two together, uh, and then a, what's it, yeah, uh, no, purl front and back, knit two, to, uh, purl two together. Yeah. Right there. So cool. Knit two together. Knit front and back, or knit two together. So it's going, yeah. That way. This has a lot of feather in it. Yeah. A, you know, it's a modified. Does the AI there. also tell you what colors to use? Or? Yeah. Okay. This is why they're kind of jumbled up a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But I've done work that has lots of color, and I've done work that is very. Mono, almost monochromatic, and so sometimes you have large color fills, and other times it's like too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I like this cable section a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The honeycomb. This has a, a bunch of. This was a short row. It's a section of short rows. This is the portal. Mm -hmm. This piece. Just a technical thing. When you're knitting with really large needles and really fine needles, yeah. eventually you have to start doing short rows because these are going up slower than those. Yeah. So certain small needles, I'll either have to, I'll have to compensate so it kind of goes up yeah. more similar. Like here, this to me, this looks like short rows to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah anywhere there's like. Here, you know, there's not as many rows as there's, you know, there's yeah. more rows here than there are there, yeah. so technically I had to do some short rows. Yeah. I'm loving this stuff. So, did you do some weaving posts? There is, yeah, there, are, yeah. there is some weaving in some of the areas. What is this negative space we call it? Like, uh, uh, well, this is like size 80 noodle, needles yeah. next to size 70. Yeah. So when you're creating this and you're following the AI, do you ever feel like you want to go rogue and do something different? Um, I try to follow it as much as possible. Uh, but again, it's like the one over there where it thought it, the square had six corners. Right. You know, so I have to, I mean, it's just it almost becomes more of a performance that way mm -hmm. where I am wrestling, you know, it's, the work is not solely of myself or of the AI, but a, a collection of both. Would you consider making a wood frame that had six corners somehow? Uh, I could. 
but I was trying to get them in the format yeah. of a square. Yeah. And you know, they were all supposed to be squares. It just didn't know that the square didn't have six corners mm -hmm. for that one. That's surprising. With AI. Well, AI doesn't it's know what a square looks like. Supposed to be smarter like. than us. No, no, not at all. No. <laughs> it, it, it just it it just doesn't know what um, it you know. It was, you know, they, it has the raster where it's, yeah. you know, like a, a TV yeah. grid. Yeah, you showed me in the interview. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, there's these these corners where, you know, like the, this one has a lot of those corners, kind of like a BSG, mm -hmm. I mean, a B, a baby surprise jacket. Mm -hmm. today. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, how you do those increases yeah, yeah. for the arms. Uh, but it had six of them. In corners, yeah, yeah. so it's just yeah. Listen, yeah. it had six corners. Yeah. AI is very biased mm. and very dumb. It only does what you tell it to do, mm -hmm. and it it will contain all the biases of the human who programmed it. Oh, okay. It's like a, Look at this. that is a, 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 a phosphorescent uh, polymers. They don't glow in the dark. Will you have some black light or something? Yeah. It's just a surprise for the collector to yeah. have it hanging in the house. They turn off the light and realize, oh, it's cool. Yeah, love that. chance to see all of the work and let me just tell you it is so stunning in person I don't think photography can do it justice and Channing even said it's not Instagrammable and it's so true because you have to get close and you have to look at the fibers and the different stitches and just the intricacies of how he spins the yarn and then knits it together it's so inspiring